Dr. Rena Goyle from Marsh Lanny Behavioral Group joins us this week, and we are speaking about depression and anxiety, the warning signs, and when it is time to seek help. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. You know, we've had a lot in the news recently. Um, you know, one of our, our colleagues and one that I used to work with, mm -hmm. um, Tom Johnston, uh, recently committed suicide, and we, you know, it's been in, in the public news as, as an awareness, and this is what got me thinking about, you know, maybe talking to, to somebody that can can tell people at home the warning signs and, and oftentimes what goes on with someone before an act like this happens. So we were decided today we would talk about anxiety and depression and some of the underlying causes that, that oftentimes people have. So Absolutely. it's an important thing to get out there. Um, you know, before somebody does something like mm -hmm. this and, and to kind of examine, you know, people and what goes through their minds mm -hmm. at the time, um, can you maybe explain that a little bit to us? Well, I think um, we, we hear a lot in the media about people who are happy-go-lucky and mm -hmm. um, we think that they're high functioning and have a great life and suddenly you hear that something like this happens and studies actually show that these are the people people who suffer from depression and anxiety and hide it are the people who are more likely to suffer the greatest from it so it's really important to know the warning signs to recognize it to admit it and to get some help because that can really prevent that from happening, from things getting that bad to that point where you feel like you need to end your life. Right, and so many times there's a, the stigma out there of, of coming forward with these kind of problems because, you know, people are embarrassed to admit it, mm -hmm. and that's when it gets swept under the carpet and it continues to fester and they don't get help because they're embarrassed. Absolutely, and, and, and if you don't get help and you hide your depression or anxiety, it always strengthens, it always will grow. Um, it will consistently get worse, and there is a huge stigma. You know, it's like any other medical condition. People are not ashamed to seek help when they have an infection, when they have diabetes, hypertension, they take medication for it, they change their lifestyle, they do what they need to do, they get help. Mm -hmm. um, for some reason, people don't see depression in the same way, but it is. It's a, it can be a medical condition that sure. needs to be treated. Well, it's like it's, it's a problem with your brain. Your brain is an organ. If you have a problem with um, cholesterol building up in, in your body, you have a, a you know, vascular issue. If it could be a heart issue. The brain is just another organ, you know, just like anything else, Absolutely. kidney problems or something. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about, you know, the signs of depression sure. because I think that's important for people at home, it is. you know, to understand. Um, so we're talking about no interest or pleasure. Well, what happens is when you become depressed, things that normally, uh, things that normally used to bring you pleasure or joy no longer do so. So you lose interest in your hobbies, maybe you lose interest in your family and your friends and getting out and socializing and doing things that normally were fun for you. Mm -hmm. you start to lose a little interest. Um, there's normal ups and downs in life, and there's bad days and good days, and that's normal. But this is something that becomes prolonged. Uh, it becomes more intense and more difficult to manage. You know, that's the other thing, because just like in, in every normal mm -hmm. day life, we all have, you know, bouts of maybe sadness. You know, that's supposed to happen. Like you Certainly. say, that's life. It's when you get down in a slump and can't get out and that is when we need to be coming to professionals like you exactly. at Marsh Landing Behavioral Group where we can get help. Mm -hmm. To talk to somebody, mm -hmm. to reach out, there's lots of resources. Mm -hmm. um, talk to a friend, someone will point you in the right direction, but it's important to admit that and mm -hmm. to not be uh, ashamed of it. Okay. Most important. You know, so another thing would be, you know, I guess sleeping too much. Um, these are kind Absolutely. of the signs that, that someone... Depression can cause a, a loss of energy, fatigue, uh, a desire just to lay in bed and pull the covers over your head, that, that whole sensation, just a total loss of energy, focus, concentration. Some people have memory loss. Um, so it can really intensely affect your life and your ability to function. This oftentimes goes hand in hand with anxiety. And I've, I've heard mm -hmm. you guys come on before that have said, you know, depression and anxiety oftentimes are, are, are related in some way, or they're like, they call them sisters and things yes. like that, or cousins. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, I guess it must affect the same part of the brain. And so we, let's talk about the signs of, of anxiety. They don't always coexist, but mm -hmm. often they can coexist. Okay. Um, I think when, uh, uh, people become very anxious, they also become depressed because with anxiety, you're scared. you don't want to leave your home, you have a lot of racing thoughts, mm -hmm. heart palpitations. It's more of a, a nervous feeling, like you're about to take a test, but that intensity is so severe compared to that feeling. Mm -hmm. um, so it's butterflies, but times a million. Yeah. Um, so it's a very, very uh, debilitating feeling when people suffer from anxiety. And again, they become afraid to leave the house. They can't sleep at night, excessive worrying, um, racing thoughts, like I said. Mm -hmm. That seems to be 
uh, mm -hmm. generally what people complain about. Those are the symptoms. Okay, and then what should we do if someone at home is watching and they know someone that maybe is going through this or maybe them, they themselves um, having a problem? What can we do? I think, you know, you, it's great to talk to somebody, to reach out to somebody uh, and try to get help. Try mm -hmm. to uh, find the place to go, the resources. Okay. It's great, and you guys are community. You're right in Jacksonville Beach, so you're are, yes. you're local here, mm -hmm. and give them a call. Yes, um, we have psychiatrists and therapists as well, so okay. try to take care of all your needs. And the other thing is, it's not just a collaborative; adults, it's children as well. Yes, at, at your place. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Dr. Goyle, thank you so much. Thank for, you for, for having me today. Appreciate it. Wonderful to have you.